Hey, what it do, y'all? Man, what it do, what it do? Y'all know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Another beautiful day. It's kind of chilly outside, man, but it's always blessed, man, to be able to wake up, open your eyes up, and see everything that's going on, and be able to do what you want to do and how you want to do it and when you want to do it. You feel me? So with that being said, man, I'm going to say this here, man. Hey, everything going swell, man. And everything's going well. Man, I, as y'all might see, man, I was, um, I put that thing, I put that title up there for a reason. I'm going to have two analogs of it, right? Right now, I'm finna speak on it. I'm finna just give my opinion. I'm gonna speak on it. Then later on, I'm gonna come back and go live. And I want anybody that, you know, come in and give me your, give me your opinion. But at the same time, at the end of that, I want y'all to be able to uh, type anything that y'all want to type, man. Let me know what y'all feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all feel about it, but at the same time, so I can be able to see everybody that's speaking on it. So when I do go live, I can be able to tap y'all into the, into the live stream. And we can have a live, you know, we can have some, some real live conversations that's speaking on certain topics like that, you know? We, so this is this is one topic I want to do that with. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try it out with this, right? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I have my opinions on why I say that. I have my opinions on why I say that the, in the entertainment game has been a major part of my destruction. The entertainment game has been a major part of our destruction. Now. Reason why I said that, like I said, it's up for debation. So people can go inside the uh, comments, leave a comment. And when I do come live, I want y'all to be able, hey, I'm going to let y'all come in and speak y'all mind. And the reason why I say that is this, huh? When I go back and I look at everything from the beginning to now, the hip hop, the world was at. And how it was, it was, it was, it was like when you look at, some of y'all ain't going to understand it when I say this, but when you listen to Big Daddy Kane, EPMD, when you listen to, you know, those, those people that I listened to growing up, right? And then I even go all the way, when I start listening to Easy e when you start listening to the music, you got to understand that. How did it affect that culture at the time? It made us be more conscious. Back then, we wanted to be conscious. When those, when that music was going on and they was coming out, they was dropping the tapes and we would listen to it, man, people had a, it, it, it controlled the mind at that time. So, Two Live Q came out, and he does, and that was another. Ha! Okay, yeah, people got into the females got into the the look to being able to feel more comfortable with being able to take off, you know, look sexy on a consistent basis for us, you know, showing more cleverage, things of that nature, right? Just, just be facts. Then we come all the way back, right, to where the entertainment game, when I say that, I mean those at the top. I'm not speaking on an artist. I'm speaking on at the top. They the one that control what's being played on the radio. To where when you get in the car, you turn it on, that's what you're going to hear. They the one that was controlling what you see on the TV screen. So here it is. When they gave us Easy E, they gave us a dude that talked about his culture, where he was from, what he was about, and what he was going through. Never, he never gave us. Nothing negative that I seen when I've listened to Easy. I used to be like, 
made a hundred miles and running, running, running. You know, I'm checking them out. And I'm like, yeah, man, it was more of a vibe. Like, yeah, that's what's up, man, you know. Then they backed out. They did something. They throw. It, it wasn't enough. See, they thought that was going to, that was, that was what was going to do it. It didn't do it. They throw colors. Here come colors, y'all. They gave the whole world colors. Now, by doing that, what you did was, they showed one side that was better than the other side. They gave us colors. So now, you having people like, oh, it ain't really like that. Now, here it is. The few is starting to start. Now it's starting to, now it's starting to get big and bigger. Now, it's how really things going on down there with except but something like I keep telling everybody. It's something going on in every city around the globe. But when they gave you that, they made everybody feel like this is what it's about. Kids. This is the mindset when I say the kids. The grown folks ain't even worrying about that. They living their life, you know. They and they they on a, they doing whatever they doing. But kids, we looking at TV. So the entertainment gave us that. So when you looking at it, you like, man, that's how I suppose. Man, that's what's up, bro. Like the kids that have grabbed a whole. To that part of the entertainment game. Thinking that this is the way it's supposed to be. The entertainment gave us that. Then they backed on and gave your boys in the hood and men to society. And they start giving that. They show you, man. That. And now you sitting back watching, you looking like. Oh, man, that's how it is right there, bro. It's supposed to be like that, bro. And, you know, see how they doing? Because they giving you that from where they from, from where they at. Hollywood. Hollywood down there. That's what they giving you, right? So, when they giving it to you, you sitting back it, as a kid, you like, okay. Now, who you is? You going outside. You seeing what goes on in your community, right? And then you say to yourself, no, nah, man, I'm tougher than that. Man, I'm finna go out here, man. I'm finna start doing this. And here it is. We jumped off the porch. You starting to, you know, everybody want to be uh, something. Not nothing. People that want to, you know, hey, man, yeah, man. So here it is. When you got, when you start running to individuals that's say they are part of, the, of, of this certain culture. And, and you like, oh, for real? As a kid, you are, you are attached to that. Adults that doesn't mature mentally, they don't they not even thinking about that. They doing what they doing. But here come the key in my frame. This is how the generation is finna start now. So now the key is coming up. Now here it comes. You like, man, these kids out here doing this because this is what the entertainment done program. They programmed the kids at a young age. Now they 15, 16 years old trying to be what they seeing on the TV screen that the entertainment have put out there. You get what I'm telling y'all? Now, once that went on, we had a long run for that. Of the destruction, the gang culture, everybody coming in to where now here it is. We got now you got the uh the magazines coming out. Magazines coming out. These source magazine, double XL magazine, they never praised nothing that went on down here in Dallas. They never praised nothing that went on down here. They never praised nothing that went on down here. You can't, right now, we got artists right now 
that don't even know. I mean, we got artists right now that, and I'm going to speak on it, where me and Mo3 ain't never been on no double XL. Yell him was on BT Awards. Why he ain't never, well, he ain't even make the freshman double XL. Why? Y'all get it? So they not quick to glorify things that goes on. Girl, they glorify the thing that goes on elsewhere. So cause they feel like they the ones they gonna be able to change the culture. Or the or the community or the hip hop of everything. They, this is what I'm telling you. So when I sit back and I'm watching it, right? They giving us all this music. They giving us all this music. Now you gotta realize that I done left. I'm gone. I done imitated, wanted to be like them, done, you know, caught a body, you know, took my lick on, took my, took my lick, you know what I'm saying, went down there doing my bid. So now, you know, gang culture starting to kick off. I'm part of this gang culture. I'm watching how everything going, right? Man, I want to be one of the biggest gang members, you know, it is. So I want to put in the most work. And as you watch it and you start seeing it, you start going through the cycle of going from, now you in the Jewish hall, now you leaving there, you going from TYC, you going to the big house, and down the big house, you seeing it and you, then you up here, so you watching it, and you like, man, this shit, man. It's starting to educate yourself by watching things. And start realizing all the things that's not real. And you start looking at the things that's real. Where I do, I come back, I'm like, man, this is crazy. Now the game things done kind of went down because now they start to realize that, man, we out here game banging, we doing this, we doing that. We My people going down there getting a million years and we all broke. We don't have nothing. And this is how they start to look at it, right? Now, we got to find, they got to find something else to stir up this black community because... If you don't stir up the black community, they're gonna be they gonna become tight with each other. And when they become tight with each other, they gonna start trying to, they gonna start bogarting. They gonna start demanding a change. Yeah, they're gonna start demanding a change. So here we go. I sit and watch it. God, don't get me wrong, we had quality music down here. That never define anything to do with harming each other, having an op, or none of that. Go listen to the y'all just go listen, go back and listen to some of that big chief. Big chief. Go check it out. Go check him out. We're gonna have an interview too. We got we got one set already, but I ain't gonna drop it. But then so what, what I'm gonna do is I got some more going on. But I want y'all to go check out the music. The music scene been great down here. We been having quality music down here. From Pookie Lucci, uh, even DeRoe. So I mean, you know, I don't want to just keep naming no name, but we had quality music down here because I don't want to, you know, try to promote nobody that ain't, you know, they, you know how it is. But my thing is, we been having that, right? But they, and here it is. They never ran to Say, man, look, let's go ahead and push these quality of music out because this kind of music that'll make everything relaxing. They backdoored it and they did this here. We got to stir up the world, man. We got to stir the world back up, man. We need them to go back to to suiting each other. We need them to go back to harming each other. We need them to go back to catching bodies, man. They gave us what? Drill music. They gave us drill music. 
They gave it to us. Huh. Let's start promoting this. Let's put this all over. Remember, the entertainment of the people that's up there, the one that gave us the drill of music. There's no artist in, from Chicago that came to different states to have different DJs play that in their clubs. The entertainment, the people at the top said, huh, here go a big old bag. I need y'all to put that music everywhere. I need that drill music. I need y'all to talk about, you know, smoking on the ops. I need y'all to talk about uh, demons. I need y'all to. We need more of this. We need more of this. We need more of the drill music. They throw it out there for us, bro. They throw it out there. Here goes some money. Because they ain't going to believe you if you don't have on your jewelry. So we're going to throw this money on you so you'll be able to show them your money and you'll be able to show them a jewelry and you'll be able to show them and you'll be able to talk your talk and they're going to believe you. And if you do that, all the kids are going to look up to you and say, I want to be like him because he got a jewelry, he got a car, he got everything and he's talking about drilling, he's talking about Smoking on ops and anywhere you go in the neighborhood, that's what they gonna want you to say. This is what they caught up into. This is how they control the narrative what goes on in our community, homie. Y'all get what I'm telling y'all? This is how they control the narrative of what goes on in our community, man. Because you got so many people that's living the street life that's broke, don't have no money. They living, come on, bro. So, Instead of saying, instead of saying this here, instead of sitting around and saying this right here, right? Since we gonna give them that music, let's give them them people. Same people, let's make them go into them schools and talk to them schools in the community center to let them know, like, no, this is not what we're saying. This is what we're saying right here, man. We're not trying to tell y'all to go. If you're going to be that, let's do whatever you're going to do saying on the entertainment. Let's get out of your character and let's start doing one thing. Let's get out here in the community and giving a real game. That's all I'm saying. What's being said on the internet and all that is one thing, but what you're doing in real life is another thing. What you doing when you outside of the, this internet and the character and I see you in person and you still the same way, oh, nigga, what, what, nigga, what, what? Okay, then. So, that's why I say what I say. The entertainment game is the one that's controlling the narrative of what's going on out here. But now we got YouTube. Now we got all the other sites. So by us having all the other sites and you saying, well, people talking down about this and that. Well, it seems like they've been talking down about this and that for a long time. And I'm just keeping it real. To me, that's how I look at it. They've been talking down about this and that for a long time. Hold on. Y'all get what I'm saying, though? So, that's just how I look at it. They've been talking down about 
all types of things. But then when you look at what they do outside of the entertainment game, get what you see. You see no work. You see nothing that they doing in the community to try to uplift it and bring it together and hoping that we use the character to be able to say, okay, we got the bag. Now let's use this here to build up our community. How many, like, like have y'all saw that? So I'm gonna stick with that. I blame the entertainment game on what goes on in our community. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, I want y'all to come on later on. We gonna talk about it. Shut up, shut it, shut it. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna go live, and we gonna shut the live. I want people to come in and give me their opinion. Cause I wanna hear. I wanna. I wanna go back and forth. I wanna hear what y'all really gotta say. You feel me? But until then, man. Hey. Got some things I got to do. I'm finna get out. Take care of business, man. Y'all stay up, man. Quality game over every game. That merchandise coming real soon. I'm finna go. By the fact, I'm finna head that way right now and get the uh, uh, all the situation with the merchandise. I'm finna start dropping the prices on the shirts. I'm start. I'm finna start dropping the prices on the hoodies. Dropping the prices on the sweaters. Yeah. Um. I got the hats being done. I got the mugs. I got the mugs. So, man, y'all stay tuned, man. We coming in. We staying true, man. We staying live. We keeping it one thigh, y'all, man. Hey, man, quality game over every game, man. It ain't going to stop. We ain't going to never stop because guess what? The real is what controls the world, man. And we going to keep it that way. I salute you.